good evening everybody today is 11th january 2023 and the temperature outside is minus 16 or 17 degrees and i am sick i'll tell you how did i fall sick the reasons also i'll tell you and how you have to take care about yourself if you come to leladak and stay in leladak during january month of course i am not very sick but still if i don't take care about myself here after then i'll definitely fall sick and if i fall sick then there is nobody here to take care of me so what actually happened yesterday night around 7:30 8 o'clock power gone that means there was no electricity power cut happened and i could not even boil water to keep inside the bed sheet so i thought okay if one night i can spend without room heater without a, a hot pack or bottle bag but when i woke up in the morning today i started feeling very drowsy i could not even woke up from the bed up to 10 am in the morning and then what happened i started feeling body pains uh, my nose got blocked i started feeling headache of course these symptoms started night but i could not understand what actually was happening so i slept some some time but not peacefully so what actually happened is when there was no heater and when i did not have that hot water pack then night throughout the night i slept without any kind of external heating system then that is the reason why i fall sick so now what i did is i brought one new or you call instrument or heating device in my room so that even if electricity power cut happens also i can survive in this cold temperature where there is minus 12 or minus 13 or sometimes even it go minus 20 also and i'll tell you one thing for all the south indians you must not have seen this kind of uh, a heating device uh, maybe it is very new to you so let me show you what is the heating device which i am going to use for tonight even if power cut happens i can stay uh, what do you call safe so let me turn the camera that said i'll show you what actually that device is okay so here you can see i'll slowly show you this is the one which i brought to my room this is called bukari or uh, this is also called heating device which emits heat from this device and it will keep the end this is the heating device now see this is the heating device now this is called in local name it is called bukari so this is called bukhari in local name so it is fitted with one cylinder you can see here one cylinder is fixed inside so this bukhari we can use using this cylinder generally in ladakh they use this kind of this kind of uh, heating devices even if there is no power also they can use they use generally uh, bukari which is fixed they will use wood so that they can keep the room warm so this bukari is actually fitted with lpg cylinder and uh, let me tell you i um, brought this uh, cylinder what do you call bukari into my staff quarters with the permission of the in charge of this bukari or heating system so don't tell me that don't think that i just brought without anybody's consent i took the consent of the in charge of the bukari and then i brought this one because if i don't use this bukari system and if the power cut happens then it is very difficult to survive in this and as i told you if i fall sick then it will be very difficult now people tell that when you use this kind of heating system external device it actually create some kind of other problems also what are those problems the problems are when you use this kind of bukari or heating device the air inside the room will become more and more dry so when the air inside this dry then we will develop some kind of breathing issues and as well as skin that means uh, you will find dry skin and it will be very difficult to survive with a dry skin chop lips and all those happens to what you call counter this heating system we have to use another one so this is also 
most of you might not have seen in south india this is called humidifier it emits cold mist from this machine so what happens the room temperature actually in ladakh the humidity levels are very less so what happens sometimes the humidity levels goes below 10 so what happens because of low humidity levels the body that means the water inside the body will be sucked out into the atmosphere and we feel a lot of dryness not only the skin we lose water that means when we lose the what you call water inside the from the body then what happens is our nostrils will start uh, what you call blocked or we get blood from the nostrils and what happens the throat also becomes problematic and will develop skin rashes so all these problems and all this what you call difficulties I have gone through so that's why what i did is i purchased this humidifier also so if you want to use a heating system like this then you have to use not only the heating system but even you have to use this kind of humidifier so with the combination of this humidifier which is emitting the cold mist and the bukhari the room temperature will be good and as well as it will not be so dry so that will not develop any kind of difficulties so with the help of this heating system and with this humidifier i think i will not get any problem in future so let me turn the camera towards my side and let me complete this video so you have watched the bukhari let me show you behind me is the bukhari here and there you can see the humidifier so with the combination of these two i will not develop i hope i hope i believe that i will not develop any kind of problem and i'll recover from this cough cold generally during winter season and the two normal even normal places also will catch cold sore throat dry nose and dry mouth all those things and virus spreads but in this kind of climate if you fall sick if you catch cold if you develop fever and other things it will become very very deadly and we need to apply so many things like eye drops also we have to use and nostrils also we have to liquidate using vaseline and other things because the the throat gets dry the nose gets dry the eyes gets dry because of low humidity levels and as it is already having low humidity and if you start using this kind of bukhari it will further dry or it will further makes the air so thin and the humidity levels become very very less and it creates lots and lots of problem so i'm using now this bukhari let me joystick i'm using uh, i'm using this bukhari and as well as the humidifier so that i may recover so these are general precautions i have taken to <laughs> recover from cold and cough and fever but one thing i want to tell you for each and every problem there is a solution you need to try it you need to understand it and then you have to adapt yourself and you have to respect the rules regulations and the power of the nature in that particular local area so thanks for watching this video i'll be keep posting updates every day so that you can check what is my health condition how i am struggling and how i am surviving in leladakh for next update till then bye bye take care